Today we're gonna have a look at and talk about the dual amp setup in the Headrush pedal board. Let's go. Hey, hey, hope you're doing well. So I don't really use the dual amp setup in the Headrush uh, ever. Um, I've just been sticking with one amp, one cab, or an impulse response, and it's been working fine for me. But when we do my original shows, I've been using my GT1000 Core, and I have a double guitar sound in that one. I don't use two amps, but I use two cabs and send them left and right. So I thought I'd try to give it a go in the head rush and see if it came up all right. Now I did do a video talking about the different signal chains in the head rush, but in this instance, I'm using just the standard, the linear signal pathway going in the front and it just continues on and I'm adding in two amps and in this case two cabs for the same reason that I was just talking about with my GT1000 core. Let's jump over to the board and we'll have a look. So this is how I have it set up at the moment and this is how it sounds. I have a couple of scenes in here which are fairly basic, this is the riff. And then a single touch to turn on the graphic EQ and the delay. Obviously that is for a bit of a lead boost there. And I've given myself uh, option to turn off the S1 drive and on and off the orange phaser. And a single touch for the delay as well. So I think it sounds pretty good. I've got, as you can see, two different amps here. I've got, which is essentially a JCM 800 there on the left. And on the right, I found the Soldano worked the best because it split it just that little bit more. It wasn't so much the same sound left and right. Just they're similar but different enough so it sounds like two different amps. And here I've got two different cabs, one with the mic, well actually they're both on axis, but one of the mic is the 57 on this classic 30 watt, and a ribbon on the green 20 watt. So when you've got two amps and two different cabs, left and right, you would assume that there's more separation in the sound, but I've got here a rig with an impulse response, and I think it's almost just as separated. You've got the same impulse response and it splits it, but the, the amps are definitely left and right. So it's kind of like, I guess one half of the cab is getting that amp and the other half of the cab is getting the other amp. So here's the one with the cabs. And the impulse response. So it is quite a different sound, but the idea is to try to hear if you think it really does make a difference having the cabs or just a single impulse response. Obviously, sonically, it comes down to your preference. Now, this impulse response is based off a Marshall with a 57. So I tried to keep it similar, but the sound obviously is very different. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you say hey in the comment section down below. Now I don't usually use the cabs in the head rush, but this rig with the cabs, I think I actually really like it. And the key to making these cabs sound good, obviously you need all of your settings on your pedals and your amps to be set at a good level in the first place, but you want to have your EQ post cab. Now all of these are peaks. I've talked about the EQ many, many times, but you want to try to do it in a way that suits. Now this is my default and then I tweak according to the rig. And then my global settings, I always have, now I'm coming out just the line out here and I always cut sort of just like that. Oh, that's interesting. I've got quite a lot of the low end going through there. Normally I cut it at around 80 to 100, uh, but that's at 50 and it actually does sound pretty good. I like it with that little bit extra there at the moment, so I'm gonna leave it. So that was the double amp there, but I've gone back to a single amp and cab now so we can rebuild it and I'll show you how I did this. <laughs> Cool, 
cool, cool. All right, let's start on the amp. So this is still the same Marshall, the JCM 800. I didn't change this one. Master volume, preamp, presence, bass, mid, treb, are set as such. Cab is, which one did we keep? That's the 57 on the 30 watt. So that right there, I think, I think that sounds good. Reverb is just a really small room. I didn't want to have too much uh, sort of ambient ness going on in this one. I was trying to, as I said, I was trying to replicate my original tone and because I do riffs, I didn't want too much reverb happening because we have a lot of sort of backings in the songs. So I obviously don't want it to get in the way of the sound, uh, but I do like, because it's a digital signal, I do like to have sort of kind of an, a roomish kind of sound to it. If you think about it, you had a cab on stage, you'd have a mic, there would be a bit of that room ambience being in the mix anyway, so that's what I'm trying to capture there. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so add a second amp. So it's loaded up. So the preset is the um, the drive that I had, but it's loaded up this 93MS30, whatever that is. Let's try a few different amps. Let's keep the settings exactly the same. I'll just go through, so we'll go back to the top. So for example, you can put a clean amp in here and you can have a dirty tone on the left and the clean on the right. If that's what you want to go for. So for example, if we use the exact same amp that was on the right, so that one, if we just had the same amp left and right. Like it still sounds all right. So of course we have a digital setup, so you can do whatever the hell you want. But personally, I like to think about it like I do have a real amp. So that's the sound I'm gonna get. So I don't want it to change too much. So in that regard, end of the day, you've got an amp and that's your sound. If you wanna split it, split it. Have the same sound left and right and do the things that you wanna do. Um, but like I said, I did change it to the Soldano. I think I used that Soldano drive. <laughs> Because it gave it a little bit more separation. Oh, he's noisy. Yeah, the preamp came up there. Uh, so we gave it a little bit more separation, but tonally, I think that they work really well together. And that's another point. You want to try to find tones that complement each other. In the, and in this example, this is exactly how I, I'm seeing it. So then with the cabs, of course, that's just one. Obviously, of course, make sure you're always checking your output. I mean, it is fine because I had it set up prior. But in this example, let's do the two cabs now. And then if we change the microphone, so think about it again, like you're in a live setting, put a different microphone on one speaker, put it off axis. So in theory, what you've got here is one cab with two different microphones set up differently. It's two cabs in the picture, however, we've got now two microphones. Now with that ribbon off axis there on this cab, I feel like I can hear a little bit more of that low end coming in on that one. That is super noisy now. Um, in that instance, you'd probably want to try to find yourself uh, a slot to put in your noise suppressor. I've run out of room there. So I can't. You do have the gate back at the start, but I don't like it gating too hard. I think it's this lead actually. There we go. Yeah, this lead sucks. Time for a new lead. But then from that point of view, like I said before as well, we're in a digital world, you can do whatever the hell you want. So that's why I changed this cabinet. I think I had the, what was it, 20? Um, Just hear that. And it sounds mad. Now I've found if you're gonna set this sort of thing up, make sure that you are definitely running the rig in stereo 
and you've got them going out front of house, left and right. If it gets summed down to mono, the phase gets all out of whack and it sounds like everything is next door. You'll hear the amp, but it's gonna sound really pulled back. You're gonna lose all your clarity and your brightness and it's just gonna sound muddy and gross. For example, All the sounds are still in there, but everything's just getting really wrong. So like I said, make sure if you don't have control of your own setup, make sure you tell your sound guy and he's gonna have them left and right. End of the day, just make sure that's in stereo, you're getting them separated and you're not coming out in mono. So there we go, that's a quick look at the dual amp setup in the Headrush pedal board and how I would go about setting it up for use in a live situation. Let me know what you think in the comment section, but for now, thanks for watching, stay tuned. See you next time.